All right, sorry for the super low quality, low budget uh, film here, but so just comparing the 800 watt Ryobi inverter with a four amp hour battery, we're gonna take a look at the 40 volt with a four amp hour battery at 300 watts. We're gonna do the old version of the 18 volt inverter, and then we have the new version of the 18 volt inverter with the new USB-C port on the back. So going over all these so far, I did use a normal USB digital tester, so you can go through and test our USB-A side and our USB-C side. Kind of going over a few of the results that I got out of these so far. Uh, so going over here, 800 watt inverter on the big guy on the left, on a USB-A we run 5 volts at 1.6 amps. The 40 volt, we're running a little bit higher amperage off of that, which is kind of obvious because we usually have a different color USB-A port, so we are getting quite a bit more amperage out of that USB-A port, which is great. So that's definitely a better way to go as far as a normal USB port. Going over to the old one, we're only running one amp at five volts, and the new one we're running 1.56 amps at five volts. So the 40 volt and the, one, the new 150 watt are running great voltage and amperage. Going over to the 800 watt, going for USB-C, we're running 9.15 volts at 1.61 amps, which is fast charging. That actually does pull up as normal fast charging. The 40 volt is running 9.54 volts at 2.28 amps, which is amazing. And we are showing super fast charging off of that. Uh, this does not have a USB-C port. And then our last one is running 8.34 volts at 1.61 amps and full disclosure because the port on this thing cannot take the small micro USB-C uh, I did have to use an adapter but going from an adapter from here and doing the same thing from here we did lose a little tiny bit of amperage not by much but uh, I would say that actually it does put out a little tiny bit more than the 800 watt large inverter so if you're looking at the differences between all these, fantastic options for all of them. This guy is definitely worth upgrading to this one because you can also charge your batteries off of your USB-C port here and uh, put this in your car or off of a normal USB-C adapter in your car that can do power delivery output. You can charge your batteries while you're uh, driving around and have a fully charged battery when you get there. I was shocked when I used the wall outlet adapter that this actually charged this little two amp hour battery pretty dang fast so I went from having no battery flashing one bar to three bars in about 20 minutes so I didn't get a chance to finish charging it out I'll do a little bit of video later on to see uh, how much difference there is but kind of fun hopefully that helps somebody out there make a decision but if you're looking for high power output this is a great way to go and this guy is a great way to go if you're looking for something that can do fast charging for your phones that do support power delivery. So just throwing it out there.